So, I may have spent a lot longer watching my friend's stream than I thought, and I fell asleep, and uh, we we're just starting later in the day. Hildebrand is keen to embark on the next leg of your investigation. Charlie and awaits! We need only charter a suitable sea vessel. But of course, but how does, how, how, oh my god. Brain's still not functioning. Of course, but does not the city lie many a day sail to the north? Is there no swifter means of reaching our destination? Well, I mean, if you want ethereal sickness. So this experimentally threat will allow us to teleport to their even absent of attunement? Splendid! Then we shall avail ourselves of the technology, technological wonders marvels forthwith. Uh. I haven't had lunch, so my brain's also like. Uh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What am I doing? I just need to teleport. Uh. Old Charlian. Oh, hell. I'll just wait till dinner. Hopefully I can finish this all before dinner time. Da 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 Pew pew! So this is the city of learning. A sophisticated gentleman should feel right at home here. Ew, how are you all not sick to your stomachs? <laughs> Experimental etherites make travel exponentially more fun. Of course, of course it wouldn't affect them. Sometimes I feel as though I'm the only normal person in this group of eccentrics. Uh, 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 this is not the time to succumb to nausea! Not here in the belly of the beast! Rumor has it, Charlie and secret agents travel the star in search of specimens, which they collect and bring home in service to a confidential research project. Said project is conducted in a huge underground military facility. If we were... <laughs> We're here to find answers, and that's where we need to look. Uh, se secret agents? You, you mean gleaners, right? Labyrinthos. Not a military facility. Yeah, I, I, I don't even think Charlene has a military. Labyrinthos. Not a military facility. I say this labyrinthos sounds promising. I say we head down there and make inquiry, uh, inquiries as to the whereabouts of our missing alien friend. We simply take a lift from the Hall of Artifice, yes? Then let us be on our way. Dun, 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 dun. Da, da, da. Okay, I'm not even gonna bother. My, my, ugh. I really enjoy that they made it to where you can teleport by looking at the map. It makes me so much happier. It's like before I had to like look around for which ether right it was and I'd constantly just teleport to the wrong one and I'd have to go again all right Hildy ah oh, these must be the loops in question I'll probably start rendering these I I, I imagine Emmett just mocking the poor axolotls uh, do you wish to descend in Labyrinthus, madam? Yeah. My apologies, but each of your companions must also secure the proper permissions before we can allow them entrance. 
If it is assurances you need, then surely a single glance is all you require to judge us trustworthy. I mean... Ah, uh, <laughs> you're tired. Uh, it's like, I, I just look. I could certainly make some judgments, but that is neither here nor there. A mission to Labyrinthos is uh, subject to forum policy. Okay, Farshino, we need you. You're the ones who should be judged. I know you're hiding aliens and xenotechnology in that underground base of yours. Admit it! <laughs> no. Z Xeno technology. I, I I certainly don't. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, yet again, do our paths cross in the most uh spirit? Oh my God, why? I know how this word sounds. I know how it should be pronounced. My brain just doesn't want to cooperate, or I just can't move my mouth fast enough to say the damn word. Serendipitous fashion. I got very <laughs> father. What business brings you to Charlian? I am in. What the hell? Lights just flickered. Um, I am in search of a certain object, one crucial to the continued refinement of the Mandeville weaponry. My investigations led me to believe it is to be found here in Labyrinthos. And as you also seem to have business down below. This is my son and his uh, bosom companions. <laughs> if I vouch for that character, will you kindly allow them to board the lift? I mean, I could go if I want to. Ah, Master Godbert Vanderbilt, the forum sent word of your impending arrival. As a member of the syndicate, your ambassadorial status affords you an in entourage of up to five members. Play consider their permissions are arranged oh my god okay so five one two three okay it counts for all of them we're good we're good i don't know your current mission but for the time being i suggest you accompany me to the archeon that you're getting left behind no following cat girl this time From what father tells me, the storage facility is replete with samples and specimens collected from every land on Theris. If anyone has information concerning uh, visiting aliens and crashed airships, it will be these uh, studious folk. Wonderful run into Arnwald. A shiny silver saucer? I'm sorry, but we have no record of any such objects in our archives. Either whole or in part. Dad, don't worry, Pee Pee, we'll find it. Or so you'd have us believe. But the purpose of this complex, this military fortress, is plain! You cannot deny that you're conducting secret research on alien starships! We're not conducting secret research on alien starships. Yes, we did build a star-faring vessel in um, Thamazin, but it was neither for military purposes nor of extraterrestrial origin. Disguising your foul lies with the sprinkling of the truth, are we? Fine, I'll dig up the facts myself, and then everyone will hear what you're really up to. This man needs a new life. <laughs> but it is amusing as it is. 
It makes for perfect Hildebrand content. Like, can I assist you with your mincing craft? I do recall seeing an individual of like appearance to your companion here. You do? Where was this, pray tell? At Miral Ergonomics in the... Uh, oh my god, my voice is... Ah, I need more water. Medial circuit. The lift at the back of the building will take you down there. Many thanks, my good man. He's not a Manderville man, though. Well, well, it seems you found yourselves a solid lead. I have my own search to attend to, so I shall bid you good hunting and good day. Bye, Godbird. I'll see you again when I get ready to do the uh, 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 third part of my relic. Another round of in-depth inquiries by the Agent of Inquiry. And friends, it's in order to Miracle Aeronomics we go! Oh, that's agronomics. Oops. Uh, I was saying the, uh, uh, oops, oopsie poopsie. Um, we're not for aero, we're, we're for, uh, aggro. <laughs> Whoa, wait a minute. That would be a good spell for, like, a red mage if they decided to tank for aggro. Your description would lead me to believe you are looking for one of the mandragoras hereabout. But if, as you say, it's something else you're after, then I'm not sure if I can be of much help. I've only just started working here, so you may have more luck asking the older hands. Na, 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 na. Grapes. The glorious grapes. Ah, you must be talking about one of those new Mandragora strains. We whipped up a batch of bright blue stray onions, but I'm afraid they started to rot almost immediately. Hmm, not a Mandragora, you say? Uh, well, the only other bluish things I can think of around here are the grapes. They're not blue! Those are purple! Look how, uh, lustrous this crop turned out. That's purple! It's not blue! It's not blue! <laughs> They're purple! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, that is the cutest. F hold on, hold on. Oh wait, I spelled noodle wrong. Ah! I swear I could spell. Oh fudge! Hold on, let me let me do it again. Let me do it again. Let me see if I can get a. That is just too freaking cute. Uh, yes, the little blue man. Saw him with my own two eyes, I did, and it was no Mandragora. A gleaner in the company of an outside visitor passed through a little while back. Nothing too unusual there, only this, uh, friend you described was scuttling along with them. I know not what purpose brought them to the farm, but whatever it was, they didn't tarry here long. Hmm, okay. Interesting. Very, where'd they go? Oh, they're over here now. Or, I'm just being dumb. They were always here, I just... Apparently can't see. Wonderful! That contributes to, uh... Oh my god, I can't speak. I am so sorry. That collabor... Uh... Cor Okay, I'm just, I'm tired. Uh, the information I, but moments ago, skillfully, uh, squirreled out of this farmer. She claims to be an acquaintance of the gleaner in question. In fact, I, uh, uh, and, w and we'll bring him to talk to us shortly. I probably should have eaten before doing this. But, uh, I'm dumb. 
Let's round up the others. We should all be present to hear what revelations this professional collector has to share. Long words are hard when you're hungry. Oh, sadly, it's not our involved. Um, you're the folk asking about the little blue band, yes? Oh, and you brought someone who's practically identical. You must be the same species, surely. My friend was really here then. I, 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 for, I already forgot what voice I was giving to Master Pew Pew. They certainly would. If you've a moment or three, I'll tell you the whole tale. To begin, at the beginning, I was in Thavnir on a procurement mission when I crossed paths with an apothecary and his unusual companion. As I mentioned, the companion was almost your twin in, I, uh, in appearance, and the wagon they rode upon board a damaged vessel, the likes of which I'd never seen before. This makes me wonder... Is this the guy that we arrived uh, to Limsa and literally anywhere else with? And the guy who helped us escape? Is it, is it him? I can't remember how to pronounce his name. Yellow beard. Could it be? As a collector uh, by trade, I have a certain weakness for oddities, Dustin. I hail the apothecary to inquire after his companion in his cargo. The man was only too happy to share his story. He had, it seemed, quite recklessly plunged into the war-torn lands of Carlemald to sell his wares. Uh, okay, well, maybe not. Reasoning that they were, there was a conflict, there would be a need for medicinal goods. The state of affairs was rather more uh, versatile than he anticipated, however, and he was soon forced to abandon his venture. And the apothecary began his long trek home, only to shortly thereafter discover a strange, strange silvery ship and its uh, shaken pilot crash landed in a snow field. It cannot be a coincidence! <laughs> I don't even remember what voice I gave Master Pew Pew. I feel bad. But I don't think my voice could hit the note that I was using anyway. Because my, my voice kind of is scratchy this today. The story continues. After uh, it came the battered vessel and its occupant from the snow, he brought them home to Razaton. His guests wished to make uh, repairs to the craft, yet even amongst the wanderers of the bazaar, they had struggled to find suitable parts. Hearing this, I suggested they bring the wreckage to sell. <laughs> And after they agreed to the idea, I escorted him here myself. Alas, even in the uh, Thumazine, engineers who worked on the Ark were seen by the exotic ship, finding its technology impossible to comprehend, let alone replicate. The little blue fellow eventually resorted to drafting schematics, while the engineers followed these step by step to craft the essential bits and blobs. Uh, the apothecary and his companion were waiting here at uh, Miral. And then what happened? I I might not do voices anymore right now. My 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 voice does not agree with it. And if it hurts, don't do it. Um. Well, once our industrious uh, visitor had what they needed, they repaired the vessel in a twinkling. The pair then departed almost immediately, and I've never seen uh neither hide nor hair of them since. I'm told the apothecary paid a handsome sum for the engineer's services, but uh, being typical Charlians, I wager they would have happily forfeited the coin for a chance to pour over every square M of that ship. Now, I'm no scientist, but I'm beginning to think such an incredible vessel must have been some kind of star-faring craft, and that little blue man, well... He must have been an alien from another world! Or so I'd like to believe. I'm an avid reader of the them. Harry and... Oh my god. You see, and I uh, love to entertain these idle flights of fancy. But I've rambled on too long. There are errands to attend to, and I really must take my leave. Good fortune to you. C can it be true? I have a reader in Charlian! Perhaps I mistrust these people. Did save your comrade is hale and healthy, Master Pew Pew, and in the uh, company of uh, Hanish Alchemist of undisclosed description. 
Yes, this is wonderful news. I'm grateful indeed that we made the journey. Oh, now I remember what voice I gave him. The typical, uh, stereotypical <laughs> alien voice. I had a feeling this case was soon drawn to a close. Come, let us return to Razatan and continue the search. Squeaky, squeaky, squeak, squeak. I love the squeaky sound of him walking. To summarize our findings, we know that Master Pew Pew's friend is safe and in the company of a haunted gentleman, and possibly here on this very isle. Oh ho, that does sound promising. Father, you returned to the city. I trust this means your own investigation was successful. That it was, although laying hands on the object of my desires has been long and fust uh, a long and frustrating ordeal, to say the least. Such painstaking research went to um, revealed to me the existence of a hereditary mandrel relic, relic. What the frick am I saying? Within which slumbers the secret of uh, secrets of weapon augmentation. Yet, though I turned to our ancestral. Uh, turned our ancestral home upside down. I felt to unearth the artifact in question. The reason for its absence became clear when I chanced upon the journal of one of our forefathers. He wrote of visiting a uh, scholar's keen of a visiting scholar's keen interest in the relic and how he thus surrendered it to the Charlian's state safekeeping for study. The trail led me to Labyrinthos. As it turned out, the Charlians never did find time to conduct their analysis. The custodian and I found the curio tucked away in a dusty corner of the Archeon. <coughs> Archeon and still waiting processing. Oh my gosh. And here it is, an oddity every bit as perplexing as Godbrand's cipher bound manual. How are we to liberate its hidden wisdom? Pew pew! Oh, I can help you with that. These devices were made by the Mander uh, villains. A uh, wait, the uh, star filling race with whom we once traded. Wait, so he's serious? S star fairy. Wait, 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 Manderville has what? Yes, yeah, a highly evolved species with the mastery of advanced technologies. Our people shared ideas and inventions, though I am quite familiar with your family's relic. If you so wish, I can have the device uh, project whatever images were stored upon it. A darkened room would afford us the clearest view, however. Then let us retire to our rooms in Kama and dim the lanterns. We must behold these secrets in optimal conditions. So, you're telling me they really are aliens? Mandervillians, a coincidental aliens, or is there some deeper connection? I have no idea. We're watching a movie, guys! We're watching a movie! A motion picture. <laughs> a mo <laughs> uh, everyone come to a Let's see what this uh, device has for us. Holy hell. Oh, this is actually pretty freaking cool. Oh no, please tell me. Oh 
Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, I am God Brad, Wanderer of Stars and Weapon Smix! Throw it in air! <laughs> oh my god, they were blonde! Uh, first the uh, first Lord of Helms Manderville. This is the God brand, our fa uh, founding father. He has a glorious mustache. I record this message that my descendants may know the truth of their cosmic origins. The tale is long, but I bid you watch until the very end. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, Midgore, the dragons are technically aliens too, at least to the star. Ears of mind, I am not a man born of this star, or even a man at all. I am of the Mandervillains, a race which hails from the far, far... Uh, from the far side of the Great Expanse. <laughs> that looks like one of the, um, many villains are, what the, f uh, are parasitic symbionts. We can only survive by bonding with other life forms. They look like the other ones, you know, the the big blobs on uh Once our essence has taken root, we supplant the host's mind with mind and strengthen its physical structures, imbuing our new forms with a still like resilience. Oh, so that, that, that Coblin's gotta also be a Mandervillain. I knew there was something alien about that impossible in this. Then through conjoining of compatible host bodies, we produce offspring which harbor the next generation of Mandervillains. Uh, the symbiotic variant eventually takes to the stars in search of new potential vessels adapting and multiplying and so it was thus that our race proliferated and spread throughout the cosmos until tragically our flourishing civilization was brought to an abrupt end despair Every planet upon which we Mander villains resided was visited by an unexplicable calamity. Our societies were brought to ruin by life forms suddenly twisted into horrific nightmares. Holy, holy, holy frick! Nope, just nope on out. This sounds rather familiar. So even the stars far removed in space and uh, time and space were ravaged by the final days. Desperate to avoid the same fate, a comrade and I boarded a ship and fled uh, upwards into the starry night. I love that this is more or less like a um, puppet show. We flew and flew until we found a planet, your planet, untouched by the phenomenon, but the rigors of the uh, journey had s so damaged our craft that we were forced to make an uncontrolled descent. As... <laughs> oh, oh, there he goes. I alone crawled from the wreckage, badly injured and near death, but even as I... Re uh, Resigned myself to perishing on this unfamiliar world, I was found by a man who had come looking for the falling star. As I rule, Mandervillians do not take intelligent life forms for host. After hearing my story, however, this uh, symp 
sympathetic gentleman offered to become my vessel of his own accord. He was himself afflicted by an incurable malady, and with little time left to live, seemed content to know that his ailing body could provide safe haven for another. And thus he became a Mandeville man! With his blessing, I set about transferring my essence. The man formed was revitalized and purged of its fatal fragility yet the mind which dwelled within was now my own i went on to build a new home for myself here making use of my people's technology to ply the blasphemous uh trade i went a local last and together we had a child Although not pure Mandreville, and our offspring exhibited the same enhanced uh, physicalities, a boon I suspect shall be passed down for generations throughout the bloodline of the house Mandreville. My dearest descendants, the folk of the star are most fragile, yet, as the first man I encountered did demonstrate, they are nevertheless capable of surfing. Passing love and generosity. As the last of the Mandervillains, I have but one request to make of you. Pray employ our your super laxive attributes and my armory of Manderville armaments for the benefit of these wonderful people whom I hold in the highest regard. One dance is like a Mandeville man. What an astounding development. Oh my god, they're gonna flood the room. I, Hildebrand. Philidor Maximilian Manderville shall heed the passionate plea of my illustrious forebearer. No case is too big nor too small should it be in service to my fellow man. And there he goes. He learns he is descended from an extraterrestrial being and is still business as usual. I mean, yeah. But, wait a minute, then why is Lady Julian so monstrously strong? Is she a descendant of aliens too? Well, well, this is uh, most unexpected. Never did it cross my mind that our esteemed ancestor might hail from beyond the heavens. I mean, Midgar and his dragons do, so it doesn't really surprise me all that much. I wouldn't be surprised if there's even more... Um, people like this that we haven't yet met. Maybe some in the new world. Who knows? Uh, but it will be fun to see. But I do wonder if that self-same blood still runs thick in our veins. The family tree I glanced over some years ago suggests that, uh... Uh, uh but, but this is important. <laughs> My present purpose remains unchanged. I will bring our Manderville, uh weaponry to the peak of perfection for Godbrand and for our star. Ah! Before I forget, I have a gift for you right here. Pray await me at the the right plaza and I shall bring it uh, to you forthwith. Some truths can shatter the foundations of our beliefs when brought to light, but I have to say this wasn't one of them. The more staggering discovery was that I had devoted readers in Charlian, 
Those who peruse my publications are allies against every uh, the ever-expanding webs of lies and deception without exception. I have misjudged the Charlian people. They are not collaborators or the architects of conspiracy. They are but seekers of knowledge and afraid to plumb the depths of the unknown. That Master Pew Pew, though, that one still has alter- Oh my gosh, you've learned nothing! I bet my life on it! Stand ready, for we shall have need of your strength when he shows his true colors! His true colors are a beautiful blue-green alien of adorableness. I hope you've not been waiting long. This is a gift- Uh, this is the gift I mentioned. Master Pew Pew's earnest uh, quest inspired me to indulge in a spot of clockwork craftsmanship between uh, weapon smithing sessions. I thought it only fitting that you be the one to care for this uh, diminutive sacrum. Uh, consider it a memento of your adventures together. Yes, now I have the squeaky! Ah, uh, and as for our Mandreville uh, rep weaponary project, I believe my ancestor's artifact has unlocked the door to the next stage of improvements. Yes. Should you find time to offer your assistance, announce yourself to Master Garrett, and I shall endeavor to uh, join you with the utmost um, self. Ugh. God, my friggin' voice today. So really. Until then, my dear Rinded Tear. Pew pew! Meanwhile, elsewhere in Thabnair. Lord Vondi, I uh, come with ill tidings. Professor Lunum set an ambush for his nemesis, but was once more defeated. His current whereabouts are unclear. That blattering dolt. Hmm. No matter, prepar preparations are well underway. The manifestation will proceed as planned. Holy hell! I wonder, will this put solace to shame on the amount of clones, or...? Hmm. More questions. Need more answers. But this is definitely gonna be extraterrestrial calamity. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I mean, I can hear it in my head, but my, my, I, I am not. I'm sorry, I'm not singing it. I'm not singing it. Oh my goodness. 
And that ends our Mandarin quest.